An international soccer tournament for elderly women starts today outside Zanin. Teams from Mozambique, France, USA, Zambia and Togo and South Africa will play in the tournament until Wednesday. For more on the story, let's now cross live to our SABC News reporter Pimani Ebaloi. Pimani, tell us more about this tournament. Just something light to please lighten today. Good afternoon. I'm in a very noisy stadium here in the Kuangua Stadium, so I couldn't clearly hear your question, but all we know is that the program has gotten underway. We expect the first soccer match to start in the next uh, 30 minutes, where we expect the host, Bakegula Bakegula, who are based here in, in Kuangua, to play against an American team uh, as the first match. There are about 20 teams that are set to participate in this tournament from different countries, which include the United States states of America, you know, several teams from here in South Africa in different provinces that include Kauteng, Mpumalanga, but also from some neighboring countries such as Mozambique. We've also seen other African countries as Namibia and Zambia. But uh, also there's also the French who are here. There's also Te Togo that's here. To speak more about why the significance of participating, I'm joined by one participant from the American team that will play by Kekula Kekula soon, Jean, Jean Duffy. Thank you so much, Jim, for speaking to us. How old are you? Where are you from? Why is it significant for you to participate in this tournament? Hi, my name is Jean Duffy, and I am 64 years old. I've been playing soccer for 20 years myself, and I find it a wonderful, fun way to stay fit because you forget you're exercising. You just have fun. And to me, this tournament is important because it uh, brings together women who share our passion about football and shows the world that it's important to stay fit as you age. Is this your first time coming into contact with this South African team, Bakegula Bakegula, and what are you hoping to be the outcome of this? No, um, we're, our relationship as sister soccer teams goes back to 2010 when the Vakegula Vakegula team came to the United States and we had such a wonderful time um, enjoying their zest for life, singing and dancing and playing soccer. And then the next year in 2011, we visited here and we played on this field in Nikoa Nikoa. So I hope that uh, the spirit of this tournament lives on and many, many teams from all around the world establish Granny's teams. Yes, today will be your second time playing here. When did you get to South Africa? What's your impression so far? Are you ready to play? Well, um, we got here on Friday night, late, and uh, it's just, as we came north into Limpopo, it's so beautiful and lush and all the fruit trees, it's gorgeous. And um, we are feel the excitement very much here in the tournament. We're playing in about 20 minutes, and I'm very excited. You know, it's wonderful. Are you hoping to win? Well, I, I, myself, I hope that the tournament, that the trophy stays here in Africa. But I can't control what happens. We, uh, we'll all play and have fun. Thank you so much, Jean. That's Jean Duffy from the United States of America. I'm also joined by another uh, player from Zambia, Miss Lillian Zulu. Miss Zulu, thank you so much for speaking to us. You founded a team in Zambia that is participating here. Tell me more about this. Okay, my name is Lillian Zulu, and I'm 52 years old. I'm so happy that this has come to pass because I'm the founder of the Granny Soccer in Zambia. And uh, this came to me because um, I, I've been reading a lot of uh, 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 books and, um, uh, and uh, on the media. I've also been uh, reading on YouTube about Mama Baker. So she's the one that has inspired me to also start our Granny Soccer in Zambia. How is it going? Are there other teams that you compete with? Are you inspired to also inspire others in your country to form more teams? Yes, uh, like our team has really inspired a lot of uh, grannies in our country. And um, uh, as we finish this tournament and get back to Zambia, I think we are going to have a lot of uh, teams in all the provinces. Yes. What are you hoping for? When is your first match in this tournament? What are you hoping for at the end of the uh, tournament? 
Yeah, we are hoping, of course, for a win so that we can impress our sponsors because, you know, the government has been so good to us. Uh, that It's the one that has made us to be here. And I, I, I want to thank even the president for um, uh, pushing up things with the, with his ministers and the, the, uh, and everything has been done according to what we didn't expect. And I want to thank them for this. Yes. And your advice to other women, you know, older women who are sitting in their homes, not exercising, not participating in sports, what would that be? Yes, my advice to other women is that ever since we started this thing in Zambia, because the women that I started with, a lot of them had problems with uh, their blood pressures and their sugars and just just a lot of diseases. You know, when a, when a, a woman is growing up and this has come to a change because a lot of them, it's a story of the past. A lot of them, they are healthy. So I would encourage other women that are sitting at home just to try and join. It's not that, it's not hard. The football in the women, it's according to the, to the pace of the grannies. It's, you know, because some of the women are scared to say they can break their legs or what and this and that. No, with the women, granny soccer, it's about grannies. Everything is grannies. Even the way they run, the way they play, everything. It's, it's more about having fun, you know, something that we didn't do when we are young and here we are doing it and we are enjoying it. When will be your first match and your impression? You know, there's been a lot of dances. We've seen people wearing colorful clothes. What's your impression so far? Yeah, my impression is uh, like in Zambia, it's our first time. This is the first Granis team in Zambia. So everybody in my team is looking forward to, we don't, we don't mind what happens, but we know that we are here to get a cup. Yes. Thank you so much, Mrs. Lillian Zulu. That's Lillian Zulu, who is uh, at the founder of the team, the Zambian team that will be participating in this international tournament. This is the first time that this international tournament is being held, and the founders are hoping that it will be held every two years, bringing different women of the, like all the women, to different countries to participate in this tournament. The tournament is expected that the first match is expected to start at 3 p.m. today, and this tournament has been set for the next next three days. The last match will be on Wednesday where we've been told that there is a trophy where the winner will take away that trophy. For now it's back to you in studio. Pumani Baloi, thank you so much for that update and Pumani coming to us live there from Ngoa Ngoa outside Zanin for that tournament.